Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to build a bridge in the Lucina positions. Um, so the Lucina position is when your past pawn has reached the seventh rank, you're about to promote it, but you're just not there yet. Um, and it's not that easy. It would seem like it should be an easy victory for white. But the problem is that once you play king c7, which seems like the most logical move, um, trying to promote the pawn, then your opponent will start giving checks. And it's just very difficult to escape these checks. Because let's say you run towards the rook. Um, at some point, uh, your opponent will play rook d1, after which the d-pawn will be lost. So you cannot simply run towards the rook. Um, so that means that you need to find another way. You are in this position able to run to the d5 square. So let's say your opponent checks you here, you play king d5. And now what you would like to get after the rook d1 check, the, uh, you would like to get the rook to d4. So the way to do this is by starting out with rook e4. This is called building a bridge. Um, and it seems like now it should be an easy victory, but if your opponent waits, um, it's, we're still not quite there yet. Because if king d c7, rook c2 check, king d6, rook d2 check, king c6, rook c2 check, and we finally get in the rook d4, the problem is that your opponent is just able to trade the rooks and go king e7. And now the king is um, in time to stop the pass pawn. So what we will be uh, needing to do instead of this, so we need this uh, building a bridge uh, method, but we need to cut off the king even more. So we start with rook f2 check, forcing the king to go to the g-file, because if it goes to e6, you can simply play king e8, threatening to promote the pawn, so your opponent needs to take the pawn, after which you give a check. And now the rook will be lost, because black is forced to play king e6, so keep on protecting the rook. But after rook d2 check, king c6. We just simply take it and the end game is winning. So we start out with the check, forcing the opponent to go to g7, and now we go for the bridge. So um, we bring the rook to the d4 square, but we do it on the f pawn instead of the e file, which doesn't make a big difference. And now uh, black simply needs to wait. He plays rook d2, we go king c7, rook d1. Oh, sorry, <laughs> he needs to start checking, of course, otherwise, we promote king d6 and after we get to d5 again uh, we are able to play rook d4 so now the end game is winning because after the rook exchange the king is not close enough to stop the pass pawn and we simply promote on the next move so here white is winning there is still uh, a good try for black though um, let's say he goes king g6 instead of king g7 uh, we go for the build a bridge uh, method now the problem is that if black plays king g5 you're simply able to go rook f7 and after king g6 king e8 and now we can promote the next move as after the check we basically have the same building a bridge method but now on the seven rank instead of the fourth rank and this is simply winning so we can go to g6 but it's not really able to go to g5 because then we have this rook f7 as we just saw so here you need to play another move like rook d2 and now after um, white goes king c7 check king d6 rook d2 check king c6 um, if black waits another move um, in the same position with the king on g7 we would be able to go rook f5 rook d5 with the building bridge method and we simply win the game the problem here is that we're not able to do that but we can uh, go for another way to win this end game because the king on g7 was protected in the f8 square so now with the king on g6, we can simply go rook f8. And whatever black does, we can simply promote next. Even if we start giving checks, we can actually just simply run away uh, to the rook. And if the rook ever moves to d1, then we can promote. And there is simply no way to stop the promotion once the rook lands on f8 in this position. So basically, you either want to get, you really want to get the rook to the d file. You can do this via f5 or f4. And otherwise you get the rook into f8. So is there really no way to stop the rook from entering the position and helping the pawn to promote. So this is the way to win this type of position and I hope you liked the video. 
and see you for the next one.